Hey guys. Well, today I wanted to share some upcoming games with you that I've really been looking forward to for a while now. Some I'm sure you've heard of, but I bet there's some that you haven't. And I think these are going to be some really interesting games. So let's take a look. First off, we've got Identity RPG. If any of you are familiar with the Arma Life mods, which have been a part of the Arma series for a long time, this game is going to be very similar to those. It's going to promote heavy role playing. You'll be able to have a job, own a vehicle, hunt, do some PvP, own and decorate an apartment, be a cop or a criminal, stuff like that. It's the type of game I've always wanted, and it looks like they're doing a good job so far. This one's a long way off still, but they're releasing it in modules, so you can check it out early if you want. Next up, we've got Half-Life 2 VR. This was put on Steam Greenlight after starting as a mod a few years back, and I'm very much looking forward to it. You may know I'm a big supporter of older games being ported to VR, and it's going to be awesome to play through the game with what looks to be excellent motion controls and proper VR support. Another one I'm looking forward to is Doom Eternal. Very little is known about Doom Eternal other than it takes place on Earth and that there will be two times the number of enemy types. I was really surprised by the last one and I thought they did a good job of capturing what the original Doom was like, while also bringing it up to modern standards. There's going to be more footage and info released August 10th at QuakeCon, so keep your eyes out for that. No list would be complete without Star Citizen. There isn't much I can say about Star Citizen you don't already know. I think we're all just ready for it to be finished. You can play it now and there has been a big update just recently, but I'm personally waiting for it to be much further along before I dive in so I can have the most complete experience. This one I'm sure very few of you are aware of. It's Battle Rush 2. If you've seen my videos on Battle Rush, you'll know I had a lot of fun with it, and recently the developers have announced a sequel with some screenshots of the game. They've ditched the cartoony look and gone more realistic, and said the new game will have new types of crafting, realistic ballistics, character damage zones, AI civilians, and more. We don't know if they're going to stick with free-to-play or not, but we'll find out more when they begin the open alpha soon. And finally, we have Seven Days to Die Alpha 17 for the PC. Seven Days to Die is my favorite game from recent years, and each alpha version they put out really changes the game for the better, and makes it feel fresh. Alpha 17 will be no exception, as they've redone the AI, the buildings, added a weapon attachment system, and added more vehicles to name a few things. Alpha 17 is nearly ready to go with testing starting soon. I just hope I'll be able to stream by then. So those are some of the standout games I'm excited for in the next couple of years. I'm curious to know if you guys are looking forward to these too, or if you have any others I might not know about. Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. That's all for today, guys. I'll see you next time.